Greetings from Adu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ACE, academic competitive exams, entrance exams and for enrichment of knowledge. In the series of our videos on biology, we shall learn control and coordination. In this, we will learn about endocrine system. Endocrine system is a system of ductless glands that pour their secretions directly in the circulatory system. Circulatory system carries the secretions of the endocrine glands to the target organs and controls various activities like metabolism, growth and differentiation of tissues. What are hormones? A hormone is a chemical that is made by specialized cells usually within an endocrine gland and it is released into the bloodstream to send a message to another part of the body. It is often referred to as chemical messenger. Characteristics of hormones. Hormones are secreted by endocrine cells. Hormones are chemical messengers. They are chemical signals that circulate in the body fluids. The hormones regulate the behavior of the target cells. Hormones, unlike enzymes, do not catalyze any reaction. Endocrine system. We will discuss about the different glands located in the body. Hypothalamus is located in the brain above the pituitary gland. Next to pituitary gland in the hind brain is pineal gland. Next to pineal gland is thyroid and parathyroid glands located in the neck. Next to that is thymus gland located below thyroid and parathyroid gland. And pancreas is a endocrine as well as an exocrine gland located below the stomach. Next to that is adrenal gland which is located just above the kidneys. And the ovary is a gland which is located in the female. And next to that is placenta which helps during pre uh, pregnancy. And next is testicles which is present in males. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a small region of the brain. It is located at the base of the brain near the pituitary gland. While it is very small, the hypothalamus plays a crucial role in many important functions. The following are its main functions. First is releasing hormones, regulating body temperature, maintaining daily physiological cycles, controlling appetite, managing of sexual behavior, and regulating emotional responses. Next gland is pituitary. The pituitary gland is a part of our endocrine system. Its main function is to secrete hormones into our bloodstream. These hormones can affect other organs and glands, especially our thyroid gland, reproductive organs, adrenal glands. The pituitary gland is sometimes called the master gland because it is involved in many processes. Let us understand about the location of the pituitary gland in the brain. It is located in the base of the cranium in forebrain and it receives signal from hypothalamus. And hypothalamus is located below the thalamus and above the pituitary in forebrain. Hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. Anterior pituitary secretes the following hormones that is prolactin, follicle stimulating hormone also known as FSH, luteinizing hormone LH and thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. Adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH and growth hormone GH. The posterior lobe of pituitary secretes oxytocin, and ADH. Hormones secreted by the posterior lobe. 
oxytocin stimulates uterine contractions to facilitate birth and also causes breast tissue to make milk adh anti diuretic hormone is involved in the control of water retention within the kidneys this hormone is released when the pituitary senses that the blood does not have enough water in the kidneys the hormone causes cellular changes which causes the tissues to retain as much water as possible thyroid gland the thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ located in the base of our neck it releases thyroxine hormone that controls metabolism that is the way our body uses energy the thyroid hormones regulate vital body functions like breathing heart rate central and peripheral nervous systems body weight muscle strength menstrual cycles body temperature cholesterol levels thyroid gland location thyroid gland is located in the neck region parathyroid the parathyroid glands are small pea sized glands located in the neck just behind the butterfly shaped thyroid gland there are four parathyroid glands with two parathyroid glands lying behind each wing of the thyroid gland there are four, four parathyroid gland which are behind thyroid gland hormone secreted by parathyroid the parathyroid gland secrete parathyroid hormone which is important in tightly controlling calcium levels in the blood stream because of this calcium levels are generally very stable if parathyroid hormone is secreted in excess quantity then it can have negative effects like brittle bones and kidney stones thymus the thymus gland located behind our sternum and between our lungs is only active until puberty after puberty the thymus starts to slowly shrink and become replaced by fat Thymosin is the hormone of the thymus and it stimulates the development of disease fighting T cells. Pancreas. The pancreas is an organ located in the abdomen. It plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel for the body cells. The pancreas has two main functions an exocrine function that helps in digestion. and an endocrine function that regulates blood sugar thyroid gland and parathyroid gland below that the thymus gland is located pancreas as endocrine gland functioning as an endocrine gland the pancreas secretes the hormones insulin and glucagon to control blood sugar levels throughout the day it is the anatomy of pancreas which is representing uh, glands as an exocrine gland and an endocrine gland insulin and glucagon function the alpha cells of the pancreas produce glucagon glucagon raises blood glucose levels by stimulating the liver to metabolize glycogen into glucose molecules and to release glucose into the blood glucagon also stimulates adipose tissue to metabolize triglycerides into glucose and to release glucose into the blood insulin is produced by the beta cells of the pancreas this hormone lowers blood glucose levels after a meal by stimulating the absorption of glucose by liver muscle and adipose tissues insulin triggers the formation of glycogen in the muscles and liver and triglycerides in adipose to store the absorbed glucose adrenal glands 
adrenal glands produce hormones that help regulate our metabolism immune system blood pressure response to stress and other essential functions adrenal glands are composed of two parts the cortex and the medulla which are each responsible for producing different hormones adrenal gland is located just above the kidneys that is having two parts that is cortex and medulla and the outermost layer is known as capsule main hormone secreted by adrenal gland adrenal cortex secretes various hormones like aldosterone cortisol androgen estrogen etc the hormones produced by the adrenal medulla are called catecholamines they act as hormones and as neurotransmitters chemical messengers in the nervous system they manage the body's response to stress the two more important catecholamines are epinephrine also known as adrenaline is released during times of short term stress such as shudder shock or fear it increases heart rate blood pressure and blood sugar levels nor epinephrine also known as non adrenaline constricts blood vessels like epinephrine it increases heart rate blood pressure and blood sugar levels testes the two main functions of the testes are to produce sperm and the male sex hormones androgens this makes the testes both an endocrine and exocrine gland functions of testosterone hormone growth and development of male reproductive organs penis and testis growth spurred at puberty production and maturation of sperm growth of facial and body hair deepening of voice growth of the adam's apple maintenance of bone density maintenance of muscle mass and strength fetal development of male reproductive organs increasing red blood cell count ovaries there are two ovaries in the reproductive system of every human female the ovaries produce and release eggs also called oocytes into the female reproductive tract at the midpoint of each menstrual cycle they also produce the female hormones estrogen and progesterone this is the structure of ovaries they are uh, located in the abdominal region functions of estrogen and progesterone estrogen is the primary female sex hormone it is responsible for the development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sexual characteristics progesterone prepares the endometrium for the potential of pregnancy after ovulation it triggers the lining to thicken and to accept a fertilized egg it also prohibits the muscle contractions in the uterus that would cause the body to reject an egg this brings us to the end of our video on control and coordination please subscribe like share and press the bell icon for updates thank you for being see you with the next video soon